Hey everyone, I'm sitting here working on my trailer and I'm taking a little break from doing that and uh, I thought I'd share with you some things that uh, I've discovered in the, in the past that I've used. Um, actually more specifically uh, refrigerators. Um, when I first started out my Subaru Outback, I was using a small little fridge uh, from a Chinese manufacturer. I didn't know what I was getting into, but um, it turned out to be good. I mean, it turned out to work, and it was it was you know inexpensive compared to the other fridges. It was small for my Subaru Outback, so all those features uh, appealed to me. And then later, um, I knew I was going to get into a bigger vehicle, this cargo trailer, so I decided to get a larger fridge, and for only a hundred dollars more, um, roughly, I was able to get the larger fridge. Um, both of these are Alpacool products. Um, the smaller one is an Alpacool C20, I'm sorry, C15, and it was only $199 free shipping when I got it from Amazon. Um, it's worked great. Uh, let, me, let me show you the fridges and then I'll talk more about them. So the one we're pictured here is the Alpacool C15. Now, the latest check on Amazon, they don't have the C15 available anymore. There's one used from another person, and it's the same price as new. What Alpacool does have now is the C20. Now, as far as I can tell, the C20 is the same as the Alpacool C15. All it has is a larger lid. Um, that's about the only difference. But this isn't a bad fridge. You know, it's... It's not too bad. It's uh, not very deep though. That's the problem. Um, but if you have a small space and you want to go to the store more frequently, then this will work. It'll even freeze. In fact, coming up, I'm going to use this as my freezer in the cargo trailer. So that's kind of the plan. Um, but yeah, it's a good fridge. I mean, it's worked great for me. Um, it uh, has run flawlessly. Other than telling me when I have low voltage, I would run it, basically I would run it 24 hours a day on a 35 amp hour battery. Now during the day you had plenty of solar, but at night it got really close to drawing it. In fact, it did sometimes draw below 50%. But in fairness, I had other things charging on it. You know, I had my phone on it, I had a fan running, things like that. So it wasn't just the fridge. And it would cycle, you know, I'd keep it about 40 degrees, 35, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And it would cycle, it would run for about 5 minutes every 15 minutes, roughly 15, 20 minutes, depending on the ambient temperature inside the vehicle. But then I graduated to the CX-40. Now the CX-40, trying to get my gimbal to cooperate here, I got to step back. I could probably zoom out. I think I'm in pretty tight though. The CX-40 is obviously month, you know, a lot bigger. And it was only about $100 more. It's actually, uh, last time I checked, I think it was $339. Um, and I've noticed that also Alpacool has lots of other size fridges. So, you know, I would suggest them working out. This fridge I used, it, well, probably sat for six months without even being used, just in the heat and the cold, um, not even being used. Then I used it for a month solid. It ran strong, other than telling me I had low voltage on my battery, which I did sometimes. Then it shut down. You can change the parameters on both of these fridges to adjust what, temp what uh, voltage you want it to shut down at. Um, and the idea is it protects your battery uh, from being fully depleted. But yeah, look at this thing. I'm gonna give you a little look. This is uh, this is pretty sizable. And sorry for any background noise, but we're doing this on the um, next to the street. But if you look in here, look how deep that is. Here, hold on, let me adjust it here. Look how deep that is. And then it goes underneath here too. Um, this does have a drain in it. I have not cleaned this out since I was camping. It has a drain, so if you accumulate any water in here. You can drain it out so that makes it nice so we'll shut that up a little bit i can tell you that 
um, on both fridges all the time that I was running it it had very little moisture built up in it um, this one I ran the CX 40 I ran solid for uh, like I said a whole month and uh, it had hardly any water in the bottom of it um, it will develop a little bit of moisture but uh, wasn't too much Anyways, in these both of these fridge they run off of 12 volt they are compressor fridges um, they do have a 110 volt adapter so you can run it off 110 and basically it's just a laptop uh, charger um, pretty much similar to what what it has but let's give you a closer closer look we're gonna go around the back side of these and take a look at them if I can get my gimbal to cooperate Like I said, they are used, so they've had some dirt built up and everything. Now, one thing, if it if you like this kind of thing, on the CX40, you see it does have the wheels, and it does have the telescoping handle, so that kind of makes it nice. Um, again, I use this. I'm going to use it again, but I figure I'd just uh, kind of quickly show you these. And I will tell you on both of these, you know, they said don't use any undue shock. They said don't uh, have it over a 30 degree angle, so on and so forth, while it's running. I've done both. I've done all of those things in these, and they keep running without a without a tick, without without a, even a uh, uh, a hiccup. So, if that's any uh, attestment, um, I'm not a testament, a testament. But they just, yeah, they're great. And they're, you know, compared to the other fridges out on the market, they are not that expensive. So, I mean, I myself can highly recommend the Alpha Cool fridges. Um, I used to put links for it Amazon, and I, I may still do that. But I'm not selling anything. I've tried uh, affiliate links before and they in the past on my other channel. And they said that you just don't have enough subscribers. So... What they did do is allow me to do that for about a week and send all these uh, people there to buy the fridges. I probably had five people buy fridges from there. And then when they closed my account because they said I didn't have enough subscribers, you know, I didn't get a commission or anything from that. So I said, heck with it. But I still like to provide the link so you guys can go right to the product. Um, as far as I know, the CX40 you can still get. They have a couple other different models now. So you may not get the CX-40 by the time you see this, but they do have other models. And again, the C-15, which is the smaller one here, um, I don't see it available new. I see a C-20, and again, all it has is the larger lid. It has, you know, a, a lid that sticks up to make it the, the 20 liters or whatever the, what it is. Um, in case you guys are wondering, this is a... This is a 40 liter. They call it a 40 liter. I see in their description that they're calling it a quart now, 20 quarts. So, I mean, I'm sorry, 40 quarts. So, yeah, that's, I just kind of wanted to share that with you. You know, sometimes people are looking for solutions for cooling and they don't want to do ice anymore. I would say the smaller Alpha Cool, if you, you know, just need a small fridge, um, that is your best buy. Um, I mean, this was a good buy too. It was only $100 more. But the C20, uh, C15 is what's here. The C20 is going to cost you about $239. And again, they only have just a larger lid on it. And that's the only change I can see in it. I haven't run the numbers, but I'm pretty sure that that is what they did. Um, so you're not getting a bigger compressor or anything. You're just getting a larger lid, larger capacity. Um, so anyways, anybody looking for the Alpha Cool products to see how they are, um, you know, see them in person, hear something about them. You know, that's why I made this video. Again, I, I, I would highly recommend them. I mean, the I could tell you the C15, my Subaru was just a dustbin. There was tons of dust on this thing. Um, but not, not much inside the grates. But the fridge kept temperature, um, hot and cold environments, uh, dusty, shaking, vibrating, all that stuff. And... Yeah, it did wonderfully. 
and of course the CX40 did well as well. Um, I just I don't have any complaints about them. Uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could say the the CE20 is too small, but for my Subaru it was the right size. I mean, I could fit it in there, so that wasn't a problem. I just went shopping more often or didn't buy as many perishable things. So again, um, I can't say enough good things about these and the price point is great compared to the other ones. The price point is great. Um, but Alpacool has a lot of products out there. The CX40, now if you buy it in China, if you buy it overseas, you can get the, they have a Bluetooth connectivity and all that stuff. I don't see them in the USA yet. Uh, maybe on the newer models that they've put out, they have them. But um, I know they do have them available over in Europe. So um, if that's something important to you, you might hunt around. You might be able to find one with that. So that's pretty much uh, all I have to say here. Um, if anybody wants me to do more in-depth about the C20 or the CX40, then I'll be happy to do so. But um, I can just say that it works great. And... Uh, I am very satisfied with the purchase of both of these units. So hopefully that helps and we're going to get back to work. So take care of yourselves and take care of each other.